a monument to the Victorian era and the wealth of the Industrial Age. Claridge's Hotel in London's West End celebrates its 100th anniversary this year. In that time, Claridge's has been home to royalty statesmen and the aristocracy of stage and screen. To mark the occasion, the hotel's 197 bedrooms and suites have had complete facelifts. The hotel's David Broadhead says diverse clients require diverse styles. Victorian, Edwardian, Art Deco, Art Nouveau, as well as modern. For instance, the vestibule is Art Deco, while the front hall is Edwardian. You can see all, all the different styles there with this marvellous Art Deco vestibule before walking into this marvellous Edwardian front hall. The front hall is dominated by a grand staircase. Its ornate splendour is glamorously reflected in the hall's large mirrors. The mirrors are... Art, well, just as George really the Art Nouveau, Art Deco period, about 1929, so just at the sort of the crossover. The dining room's had quite a history of refurbishing and restoration. Yes, it has. It's obviously its original, very Edwardian splendour with uh, lots of jewelled pillars and big arches and wooden panelling. And then Basil Arnides came in to uh, put it much as it is today, really and gave it its very Art Deco feel that it now has. The mirrors here depict landscapes. The colour scheme is a skin-flattering peach and hasn't changed in the past 25 years. The tables are new, the chairs traditional yet large and comfortable. The service is personal and the food? The style of the food is, is really sort of classic English-French cuisine. Uh, there are sort of modern dishes, uh, light cooking, all those sort of grand hotel dishes that uh, Escoffier would produce, but done in a much sort of light and more modern way as well. When did you put in the gym? The gym was a, a, a result of the recent refurbishment, and that has been open really for about a year. So it's a, a great, great addition to the hotel. Suite 212 has a dramatic green foyer. It's special because it's where Crown Prince Alexander of Yugoslavia was born after his parents were exiled during World War II. The king and queen of Yugoslavia. Um, who was pregnant at the time and of course much diplomatic running around when uh, she went into labor uh, and so the embassies decided between them that the suite 212 would become Yugoslavian soil for a 24-hour period uh, during which Prince Alexander was born he still and comes quite often actually the suite is now known as the piano suite because of its grand piano its new decoration is by London interior designer Tessa Kennedy. She chose a Regency theme. Um, the, the suite is part of the Edwardian building, so it's really very ornate. Uh, large rooms, high ceilings, lots of plaster work. Burnt orange drapes complement original, though reupholstered sofas. The antique clock on the mantel is French. High-tech phone, fax and TVs are unobtrusive. In the suite's bedroom, the bed's foot and headboards are original mahogany. They've been stripped and covered in pink wax. And the prints? They're a selection of prints chosen by Tessa to complement the room. So there's of etchings. What does Claridge's offer that makes it different from any other hotel in London? It offers a very high degree of personal service. It offers a very secure environment and it is really a home away from home. That's David Broadhead and Claridge's Hotel.